Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. I'm Stephanie West. I'm a licensed counselor here in the state of Michigan. I want to invite you into kind of a quick question today and an encouragement. If you expect change to happen and you expect it to be sustainable change, you have to ask yourself, what is the cost of what I'm doing right now? Now, this is a little bit different from any framework we've used before where we've talked about, you know, taking inventory, play out the movie, what's actually happening um, if I continue to make these decisions. What I'm talking about is looking up close at the damage that goes on if and when we engage in behaviors that are less than healthful and that are less than helpful. Now, I want to use relationships as the primary place to camp out, but we can kind of extrapolate this out to all different areas of wellness. But I was with a client the other week, and this is a client that lashes out on occasion in ways that are just really not for the good of his family. And I said to him, I said, here's the thing. You look away after you explode and you don't take inventory of the havoc that you're actually wreaking on your relationship. You shut down, you retreat, you get defensive, all of the things that disallow you from sitting in the tension of what you're doing, taking radical inventory of the damage that's going on and holding yourself accountable to it. And I said, here's where I think real change happens. The next time you blow up at your wife, I think you look her dead in the eye and you watch how crestfallen her face actually is. You watch how she freezes, how she shuts down or how she clams up, how she leaves, how she's distressed. I want you to look at what your choices are doing. Now, are you making her react in a certain way? No. Are you a catalyst for distress and causing some extra uh, distress in your relationship? Yes, you are. And I think you have to acknowledge what you're doing. I think you have to watch it up close and you should be using that discomfort to propel you towards better choices for your responses and for your relationship. Now, you don't have to look. He doesn't have to change anything if he doesn't want to. But if he actually wants to engage change, he has to look closely at what he is doing, what he's actually doing, the minutiae, the detail, when he chooses to engage in less than helpful and less than healthful behavior. So let's say I have someone with impulsive spending. I want you to watch your bank account dip and dip and dip and dip and dip. Let's say I have someone with compulsive eating or someone who is going through some sort of, um, you know, self-soothing. I want you to see the wear and tear to your body. I want you to look at the, you know, the lines that are showing on your face, the blood vessels that are showing, the acne that's showing up. I want you to look at the, the scale on the, or the weight scale going up. I want you to look at the weight scale going down because you're doing restricted eating. I want you to look at the consequences of your bank account being depleted. I want you to look at just the relational dissatisfaction or disrepair that's going on. I want you to look, I want you to look, I want you to look. I do not want you to look away from the consequences of your decisions. If you're willing to do that, that can be such a cool catalyst for change, but you have to get radically honest about it and you need to want to see the damage that you're doing because then as you shift, as you pivot, as you make choices that are for your, uh, for your improvement, for your good, for your betterment, you're going to look at those two and you're going to see a notable difference. Too many people pretend that their small choices don't add up over time. Too many people abdicate their responsibility to use their gifts, their talents, their resources in, in prudent and judicious ways. Too many people look away at the pain that they're actually causing. I think we need to stop that. I think if you actually want change in your life, you need to look up close and personal at what you're causing around you and be radically honest about why change is so necessary.